What's up guys, Express here and I'm back with another tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're creating a 3D banner in Blender. I've created something like this, pop up on the screen bar now, and I thought let's make a tutorial about it. I'll try to explain everything as smooth as possible, even though I'm not as good in Blender. Simplify it a bit, I'll make it easy, and I'll, I would, I'm not going to use a logo, I'm going to use text. And if this video hits 150 likes, I'm going to give this Blender file away to a couple of people. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and let's jump straight into it. So once you open a Blender, you just want to make a new general uh, file. Uh, all files start with this um, simple cube and simple um, camera. How I turn right by now is holding in my middle mouse button and you can turn your view. If, if you hold in shift and your middle mouse button, you go to side to side. So that's the basics of uh, Blender, there you go. So what you want to do is just press X on your keyboard and press delete so that cube is gone. Now, what, if you press a zero on your numpad, but if you go to your camera, you can see that it's not the size of a banner. So what you wanna go is, you wanna go to output properties, and you can see the resolution is on a 1080. Um, you wanna change the X to 3000, and the Y to 1000. So that are the, this, this, so this is the size of a uh, header. Um, the camera is pointing somewhere there, so we can still change that later. But first you wanna do your text. Um, I know in the preview, I use my logo, but for this tutorial purpose, I will use some Japanese text. I think that's easier, so everyone can do this as well. So how to create the text is holding in Shift and A, panel will pop up, and then you want to go to text. You can see the text is right there. You want to press in tab, and now you can edit the text freely. So you will, I don't know, you can type whatever you want. I'm just going to search up some Japanese text, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So once you have the font, then put it in your downloads and you need to put it outside your map or your winner art. Click on this little A and click on this little map and go to your downloads and the font is called Nikaku. I don't know. Double click on it and it will automatically change. You can paste any Japanese text whatever in, in there. So once you've done that you can press tab again and you're not in the text layer anymore. You can see it's just flat and it's not big as well. It's just a simple flat um, text. We want to spice that a bit up. So what I'll do is I'll make it a bit bigger by holding in, uh, by just pressing S on your keyboard and sizing that up like so. Okay. Now the first layer we will have, a, we're going to have a couple of layers of the same text. The first layer I want to have like a transparent, like plastic or like um, glass effect on it. So but we'll do that later. First we're going to just press Control C, Control V. So we have a duplicate in the back that you can chill, still change to anything type you want. So I'm going to press the move tool and I'm going to select the first text that we have and I'm going to move it a bit upward like so. Okay. Material properties and we're going to press new and we have a basic material. I'm just going to press, we're going to press viewport shading. So you want to remove all the metallic of course, no metallic. The roughness you want to move that bit a bit down as well. And then what you want actually want to do is the transmission. You want to Put that all the way up then you can also pop up the sheen if you want but you don't have to you go to your text again and you want to go to geometry and you want to put up extrude a bit like something like 0.01 so that is it for the first layer that you have copy the text again ctrl c ctrl v so we again have a um, we just have a basic text again to work again later the text you want to move that a bit upwards we're going again to the object so just the text and then extrude as well. You want to have just again 0.01. Bit, a bit close, but not too close. Like it's not it's not touching or anything. And you want to click on new material again. And then that's just really a um, metallic feeling. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop up metallic. And there you go, you can already see that it's a bit metallic. What I also like is a bit of um, roughness as well. And then the base color, we're going to have to make it dark, but not too dark. Like a bit of gray effect, like so. And you'll have something like this. Maybe I'll make the glass a bit thinner. Um, bottom text, still the clear text. You want to do that a Ctrl C and a Ctrl V again. So we have another clear text later. Then we have the clear text um, 2. And we want to move that a bit down. Go to geometry of that text as well. And you want to make that a bit thicker. Like a zero. Yeah, something like that. Also, I'm going to move that a bit upwards. Like so. Like that has almost the same spacing between everything. Okay, and this is where we put in the color. So you want to go again to uh, material properties. I'm going to have a simple material again, but this time I want to have like a plastic feeling to it. 
so the roughness is all the way down you're going to have a base color that color that you like you can still change it in later in photoshop no the metallic all the way down then the roughness all the way down maybe the specular all, also all the way down okay i think that's we'll keep it for that with the basics okay then we, we of course have our last text and this this is going to be an emission this is going to just give light in the background so also you want to go to your text or like your object property and uh, you want to make that a bit thicker but not too thick something like 0.02 and what i like to do with this one i want to have just i press s and then make it a bit bigger so it just pops out a bit i'm going to put it in the middle or try to of course like so that's it we'll click on that we go to material properties again we can click new this surface we're going to uh, click on that and we're going to emission so that's automatically going to give light and the strength uh, we'll see that later okay once you have your and your camera view you can already tell that it will look like something like this but of course i want to have a smooth background so what i do is press shift a i'm going to mesh i'm going to plane and we're going to press s i'm going to make it a lot bigger like so i'm going to move that a bit down so it's you know so it's uh, below the text that we made so we have still a little simple light i'm going to move that with just pressing x and press delete we have now no light in the project now what i do is i go to cycles window effects uh, is see-through and looks 10 times better and you can also see like it has a little bit of that plastic feel uh, first go to the ev and then on the end you go to cycles of course are we going to give the background also a bit of color so you're going to of course to material click new and just the base color to a more black feeling and there you go i think that looks 10 times better already you can also tell really tell that the emission on the back uh text a bit of um, you know a bit of light you can also strengthen that up a bit but uh, if you strengthen that up way too much then it doesn't look nice anymore so just a bit maybe 4000 but also we're going to put a light um behind the camera so i'm going to shift a in light i'm going to click area i'm going to move that all the way um around here i can see that he just is pointing to the floor and that's not what we want so we're going to click rotation there's this little circle and we're going to click the green one and we're moving that all the way around there and the blue one as well so it's pointing to our text like so so you can already tell that the area is a bit small so what you can do is press s and make this area a lot bigger and you can also give the power of it of the light a bit more and then of course it's the positioning of your like of your logo or your text so what you want to do is select everything like so just press the first one holding in shift and select the last one so we're going to move that to the left a bit and a bit upwards we're first going to move that as well the rotation of it like so like so something like that i think i kind of like that i'm going to move that around here or we can also put this in the middle like so looks nice gonna make that i'm gonna make that a bit bigger by by pressing s i'm gonna move that a bit down and you, then you can tell that the text is inside the floor so just move the floor a bit down like so if you can also move it all the way down so the emission of the back uh, text doesn't affect the you know the floor if you put it upwards you can see that the emission is reflecting and it has a nice uh, view to it sometimes but sometimes you don't want that so yeah it's up to you what you want but i'm just still going to make the ba base background color okay then we have our surface area and now you can check if you want more light or less light or just no light at all and then you can also check the emission of your text and can give that strength no strength a lot of strength no strength it's up to you really i'm gonna give it a bit of strength and the surface light as well a bit of power as well so now what you want to do is of course go back to cycles and check out how that looks in the end okay give your pc a couple of seconds or maybe minutes okay i can tell i'll, I'll have to make this light a bit smaller okay it will, it will look something like this if i'm going to just press render render image and we'll see uh, what the end result is like so this will probably take a couple of minutes uh, this will take uh, five minutes uh, for me but it's it's really up to you what your pc can handle and everything so i'll see you in a couple of minutes so it's done um, rendering i can already tell it, it has not enough uh, lightning 
so we're gonna fix that right now so there you go i think i like this um, one the best so i just popped out the line a bit more and the shading so we're just going to image i'm gonna save as i'm gonna say that as as png i'm gonna save as image just open up your um, rendered image and you will have something like this in photoshop so what i what you can do and what i will do is put up some text next to it and also um, a bit of color correction so i'm just going to press ctrl j go to filter camera raw filter so what you can do if you're not good with uh, camera raw you just go to straight to presets and uh, bright contrast and high contrast and but you're probably asking can i move this grain effect so what you want to do is go to detail and you can go to noise reduction and that is the best that's the best that you can remove it and then you can also go to hue and saturation and change your background color to whatever you want we can also do this like you can type express okay i'm gonna make that a bit smaller though i mean by not i'm gonna take a basic font like a uh, real regular okay and you can put that like in the left side like so then copy that put that around here copy that again ctrl j and then and the bit you type uh, three different things of course that's basically it, basically it for your 3d twitter header uh, of course you can also pen tool this out so you don't have a reflection or like emission from it uh, but i think it has a nice uh, look to it in my opinion i don't know it has something to it but i hope you enjoyed and 150 likes and that blender project will be free so you can edit that to whatever you want um if you want this if you want to know um I made a tutorial as well in Blender that show you how to import your logo. So go check that out if you want to use your logo and use this style as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.